What's up guys, it's Terminal Gamer here, and now I apologise in advance for not uploading basically at all this week. I've been busy doing stuff and then the raid steps that were supposed to go up during the week didn't go up. But anyway, we're just I'm just gonna bring it back out. Raid daughters, we're at the daughters part now of the step-by-step -step guide. And I'm just gonna explain to you guys how me and my team do it. Now, I did it again last night because the recording software, well not the recording software, the recording I had wasn't working basically, so I redid it and we've now got a little new strategy that was introduced to me yesterday. So for the daughters guys, you have four plates, alright, now just ignore what I'm doing on screen at the minute. You have four plates, they all work in a counterclockwise direction. It's a really simple con concept to understand and what you've got to do guys is wherever the relic starts, you start counterclockwise one after it. And that's where the relic, the torn between dimensions guy will start. And then everyone picks a plate. So everyone gets to a plate, one guy's ad killing. And wherever the relic is, whichever person has the relic above their plate, goes on ad killing as well. So you should have two ad killers and then three people on plates and then one runner. That makes you six. And then all you've got to do, guys, you stand in the plates in the counterclockwise order. So say as if it was... Me first on the plate in front of me, I'd stand up. Then the plate to the right of me would stand up. Then Shadow on his plate would go up on his plate last. And then the Torn Between Dimension guys just follows the rocks that appear up above me like that. He's doing it right now. He just follows the rocks all the way around until he gets up to the relic. Now you only need three plates active to get to the relic as the relics, as the plates rather, only spawn the stones after the plate. So you only need three plates active. That's why you have two ad killers. Now a 40 seconds roughly the snipers will spawn in now you want to keep an eye out for them they will kill you as you can see my teammate over there didn't watch out so i had to help him out and do it now when the relic holder grabs the relic all he's got to do is jump in on the witches or the daughters and hold x he will steal the shield and then you want to want to what you want to do is go for the left wizard not killer though you want to take it down to as low as possible don't kill her then go for the right wizard like we're doing right now and you need to take her out you need to kill her it'll make it a lot simpler for you then you'll only have three runs to do it in. If you can do it in two runs, then that's fine. That means you kill the first thing, kill the second straight after. It's just really difficult to do because while she's doing the whole fucking magic thing that she does, it's hard to get a precision shot. So anyway, as you just saw, we just killed her. We all stand... Now, the new strategy for us is we stand in the middle on, like, the opposite plate, you know? So where the little balcony bits are on the plate we stand on them but on the opposite plate to which wizard we're shooting so we can actually shoot them now on the first run it is not timed so you can basically stand on the plate whenever you feel like it and then it will start on the second run and third run however it is timed it starts after a timer so if you're not on your plates it will start anyway so you've got to do it relatively quick you don't need to rush it especially the third one if you've got the first wizard wizard down low enough you can take all day going around because as you'll see right at the end i killed the wizard i think i was the only one shooting her and i killed her in about five seconds with the touch of malice so and one more point before i go the touch of malice guys it is incredibly good at this stage in the raid now this is because when you steal the shield and you're standing in the shield it basically makes you immune. So the touch of Malice's effect doesn't work. It doesn't kill you, but you'll still do double the damage. So yeah, that comes to the end of this step-by-step -step guide tutorial for the daughter's part of the raid. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. See ya!